Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to this lecture on framework for business intelligence. In this framework, we have uh, three major layers. The outer layer is uh, having uh, business requirement and uh, creating business value. Then uh, applying program management techniques. Then development and operations. So these are the main components uh, involved in this outer layer in the next inner layer uh, we have a, a resource management business intelligence all teacher business intelligence and data warehouse operations and business applications so this is mainly for administration and operation involved in this uh, business intelligence framework and the inner layer is uh, core part of this uh, framework we have uh, uh, business layer as a central uh, layer and it has uh, data warehousing components where uh, we uh, deal with the data and uh, data collection process and uh, once the data is collected uh, you should apply uh, data cleaning technique to uh, remove outliers uh, missing values or uh, relevant attributes then we apply integration technique to uh, create a data store uh, because the data may be from different sources so we have to integrate them to create a data store and uh, uh, this data stored in the data store will be utilized for uh, analytics purpose and uh, we will perform business analytics for uh, delivery operations from this uh, data source and these two are the major components in the internal layer data warehousing and information services these two are the uh, main components in the internal layer we will now discuss in detail about uh, each of this layer uh, so in the business layer as we have discussed we start with the business requirements uh, business requirements are uh, gathered mainly from the customer or from other uh, reports or uh, documents available and uh, here the main drivers business drivers are uh, the initiating factors for uh, improving the business this may be change in the workforce or change in the labor loss or economic conditions may affect the business requirement changing technology also may be uh, uh, may impact the business uh, requirement uh, so we have to change it according to the uh, technologies recent technologies and uh, business goals or uh, uh, achievable targets uh, to ensure that uh, the uh, productivity is increased and uh, the market share is improved and also you should achieve the profit margin and uh, ensuring the customer satisfaction is also another uh, goal and uh, reducing the cost so likewise there are many uh, business goals and business strategies involve actions uh, mainly um, like uh, outsourcing uh, the operations or services or some products and then uh, uh, global delivery model adapting to the global delivery model uh, having partnership with uh, other uh, developers or other uh, business organizations and then retaining the customers employee retention uh, dealing with the competitors uh, and the new pricing model changing pricing model so these are business strategies conditions that affects uh, the business requirements and then uh, business value is uh, uh, one of the component in business layer so this business value has to be achieved uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, cost uh, maybe monetary benefit or time and effort invested for development and operations other maintenance and uh, in information uh, produced by integration and analysis service or uh, this may be the cost incurred on uh, applying knowledge from past experience giving training and uh, maintaining uh, the components or maintaining the people so all this small uh, business uh, value uh, cost and the final output of the process uh, uh, is to create a uh, business value 
which uh, should be acceptable and reasonable and should be having uh, profit to the company and the business value can be measured uh, based on return on investment or return on asset total cost of ownership or maybe total value of uh, ownership so we'll discuss all this uh, business value now how these are measured we'll discuss for example uh, suppose a company a digicom a digital company uh, digital room a company has an online community platform and it allows their clients to engage their users and this company uses uh, social media like uh, twitter or facebook to get new clients and to increase the number of uh, uh, prospects and uh, this company has attributed 10% of their daily revenue to social media so that means this 10% is then return on investment from social media and then the return on asset suppose a company electronics today has a net income of uh, 1 million dollar and uh, it has total assets value of 5 million dollar so that means the return on asset is 20% uh, here so this is the earning from um, the total assets value and total cost of ownership involves the cost of uh, owning a vehicle from the purchase date to the uh, time or duration uh, for uh, operation maintenance until uh, the vehicle uh, leaves from the owner and then the total value of ownership um, has to be measured uh, it has to be uh, used to uh, replace the concept of uh, owner duty in some companies uh it, it can include a variety of subcategories maybe the cost of uh, investment um, stock or uh, maybe undisputed dividends uh, retained the earnings or profit or excess capital contributed so this has to be calculated like uh, asset value uh, by considering liabilities and owner security and then the next component in the outer layer is uh, program management. This involves uh, managing the people, projects, and assigning priorities to uh, important work. Highest priority should be given to uh, important uh, uh, work for completing the task within the time. And uh, it should be in, uh, compatible with the uh, policy standards uh, for uh, smooth functioning of the entire program. So, achieving the mission and goals are to be given highest priority and then dealing with the strategies uh, uh, and uh, risk strategic problems risk and uh, handling multiple projects uh, bringing dependencies for uh, effective integration or uh, uh, integrating new components achieving business value and uh, ensuring the cost is minimized all these are very important part of it and business rules to be uh, adapted for effective program management and the infrastructure resources utilization all these things are uh, to be managed effectively and then the next component is development and this uh, uh, business layer we use database or data warehouse uh, uh, development so the process of data warehouse data um, develop, database development uh, consists of ETL operation, extract, transform, load operation, or uh, slicing the data, or, uh, uh, creating data profile, pre-processing the data, utilizing database tools, and uh, as part of integration, the uh, tools uh, for integration and uh, ensuring quality may be utilized and uh, we also apply business analytics to uh, use the technologies and uh, process for uh, generating uh, useful insights from the data. So these are uh, uh, the four uh, uh, components in the outer layer. In the next layer, we have administration and operation. And here we have uh, business uh, intelligence architecture that contains data integration and um, information 
which is generated from the data then technology to be delivered to the customer or role of organization everything comes into picture in this is a business intelligence architecture and uh, as part of business intelligence and data warehouse operation creating a backup of the data and backup of, of uh, uh, outputs or restoring the data uh, ensuring the security to protect the data uh, configuring the systems and uh, maintaining the database all these things are um, involved in uh, data warehouse and business intelligence operations then in data resource management uh, we involve uh, data governance so the data should be controlled by uh, owner assigning necessary roles and uh, rights to uh, some individuals working in the project and uh, also uh, metadata management is uh, uh, used to manage data about data for example if you are uh, maintaining uh, videos or uh, some recorded uh, data on the uh, dvd or cd means the data may be metadata may be author of the uh, recorded video or title of the video and data which created so these are uh, metadata this describes what data is stored in some information about the data you have stored in the cd or dvd such kind of data would be helpful when you are maintaining uh, those data properly for uh, business intelligence operations or business analytics and uh, then business applications we will discuss this in detail uh, in the upcoming slide uh, this can be categorized into two types we will discuss this in the next steps now the next layer is implementation layer here you know we have two major components data warehousing and information services so in this business intelligence framework we have uh, uh, several technical components uh, so these are required for uh, capturing the data, transforming the data, pre-processing the data and then uh, generating information from the data and then finally you have to deliver the product within a given deadline and then uh, business analytics. Business, uh, once you created a data store we go for information services where we involve two technologies to uh, develop business analytics solutions and uh, we ensure uh, uh, the timely delivery of the product to the customer uh, business intelligence applications may have uh, two types of uh, solutions one is technology based solutions another one is business solutions so technology based solutions may be decision support system which is uh, created by using machine learning or uh, deep learning techniques or, or it can be an enterprise information system or it can be a whole app online analytical processing system it may be managed query and reporting service and then it can be a data mining solutions so these are technology based solutions for business applications business intelligence applications then business solutions may be for analyzing the performance of a, uh, company or analyzing the performance of a product how it is reached to the customers and uh, reachability of uh, the new product or customer analysis understanding the customer and the buying pattern and uh, increasing the customer retention so this plays very important role uh, and then uh, market business place analysis to understand the market uh, place where you can invest or where you can close operations then productivity analysis how to increase the productivity you should analyze uh, from the data and generate necessary insights sales channel analysis you can find out um, uh, proper channel or uh, uh, some interesting um, area where you can do the sales and uh, behavioral analysis this also uh, um, play a very important role uh, because understanding the behavior of the customer and uh, other stakeholders very, uh, is very important for uh, business operations then supply chain analysis so you should find the proper route to deliver the product and uh, various methods for uh, uh, maintenance and uh, services 
so all these are uh, coming under business solutions so that's on this uh, lecture uh, in this lecture we have discussed uh, uh, various components of business intelligence framework uh, we have um, three layers uh, we have a business layer administration and operation layer then implementation layer so we have discussed all internal components of this business intelligence framework uh, that's all in this lecture thank you all